Hey guys, it's me, Useless Girl, and I'm back with another Horizon Forbidden West playthrough. If you like it, you know what to do. After I did a lot of exploring side quests and leveling up off screen, we are going to continue with the main storyline. From all that side activity, the only main story related info was that Regala, the big baddie who crashed the embassy, is working with someone. Because there was uh, another female voice in a recording Aloy found in a bandit camp. And that Regala wants to attack the Sandom, about carjacking them. Now we go climb that tall neck to unfog the map and see how we can continue. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, so as you can see, this was like where we entered the Forbidden West. I, by the way, I liberated, where was it, this settlement from that Al Alvid or Alvand or whatever was his name guy and now it's led by Petra or friend from the first game. Here we did some or I did some side activities and this was the camp where Aloy found that recording I was talking about in my intro. Anyways we are here at this campfire and here's the tall neck we will, data on the surrounding area. we will have to climb and there it goes okay so i should like tag these birds If I can climb it, I should be able to reach that tall neck easily enough. Okay, gotcha. I just need to tag these birds. Oh, sorry. And there are other machines as well. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. There comes the tall neck. Oh my god, that fox has like a... Yeah. These legs look too difficult to climb. I'll have to find another way. That poor fox was like suicidal. There. There are other machines there. Oh, yay. Where is that stupid bird? Now, I will have to take these out. Yeah. Oh, 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 what, what, what happened? I 
need this to freeze it. Freeze. No, no, no. You should be like frozen. Good. Let's grab these babies back. By the way, this this explosive uh, bomb is like awesome. I'm not like the stats buff kind of girl or player, but but it, it it's like it rocks, I, especially if you level uh, the weapon up. the other one. There was a third one. Eyes to the heavens. Sorry, I just wanna... what? Okay, something. Whatever. There were like three of these now, or I'm like lost. Let's quickly load this. Scan that thing up there. Climb up to the dish. Functional power station capable of recharging power sources. Why do we have the feeling that we will have stuff to do with that? <clears throat> Can't climb any higher, but looks like this thing can rotate. If I can figure out a way to turn the power back on. Be able to move things around and find a way up. It's just that generator thing. I cannot go that way, so I have to go down. Oh, 
Okay. Whew. That wasn't planned. Grab it. Good girl. No. Come on, Aloy. Where? Show me. What do I... Come on. So uh, how do I... Get there? Do I use my... I don't think so. What's that called? No. Can't use the core caster on that. But why is this here? Maybe once it's rotated? Sure. Somehow, maybe, perhaps... Aha! Thanks for the info. Huh. This is quite the puzzle. Somehow go from this way. It's not active yet. Yes, this is the way. Good. Can I drop down with this without dying? Okay. We are good. There's the generator. Got this power cell can get it running. Power's back. I should check that console I found earlier. You are so helpful, Aloy. Thank you. Let's see what this thing does. Ok, 
Okay, find a way up the dish. Oh, and there's a bird now. Poor dish. It will crash once we don't need it, right? Do I get up there? Now I can use that ladder. What's that fire there? What if? Should be able to get to that tarmac now. Just gotta find the right spot. Yay! Either that. Why can't I see? It's. Not right, yay. Nice to see the tall necks like path. Oh 
no! Fuck! Walk it off. Just walk it off. Ah. This is annoying. Especially that you have to climb it again and again and again. Come on, find it! Seriously, Aloy. I think this was the spot where she said she can collide with it. No, too soon. from here like I think glide onto the tall neck. Just gotta time it right. Glide on the tall neck. So this is the spot. I just need to do that stop stupid gliding. Why why is that in your hand? Oh there's the glider. The bird is back. This is not fair. Don't fall down, please. Oh my god. No! No, 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 no! And you don't see me. Birds, you don't see me. Come on! Don't do that, Aloy. Grab that. Oh, God. Time to override the big
Get a trophy, the first soul neck hacked or something like that. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. What's this place? Plain song. That's a tribe capital, let's say. That's door. This is the main storyline. Obviously, the little foggy part is where I haven't been yet. This is like a tw level 22 side quest, which I abandoned for now. Black box, Jack Deep. That's a collectible. I already found one at the... Plain crash site. Uh, there was a side quest where uh, Karja guard was imprisoned because he killed another guard, but it turned out that it was a spy for the Shadow Karja, or rather the Eclipse, which is the Shadow Karja's like fanatic and very bad side it's like a cult they were the guys who helped silence with hades then uh, they were like controlled by hades in a way that like in the first game that uh, they did hades bidding for their revenge against the Karja because they believe that they are the the best Karja or whatever I don't know it's 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 politics and complicated but whatever so in that side quest uh, Aloy discovered the cavern or little place where these shadow Karja or Eclipse members were like planning on going to the West to make friends with the these uh, aggressive tribes whatever and she killed them but there's someone there in at this place or something like that so What else is here? There should be another tall yeah here's the tall neck to unfold this place. Here's another one, another one. So yeah, this map is another one. This map is quite big. So how about, I'm just checking the time, how about following the main quest and going there. This shelter is the closest I've got to it. And that will be where the unknown signal comes, where we will have to go. Just checking the workbench. Okay, 
no thank you. I should like say no. Okay, that works too. No. What's this? Get up if I say so. Or when I say so. Let's climb it. Any goodies here? the animals can I climb it please can I climb it yes no no Pull down. Could set that machine on fire. Rock barrier. That's new. Loosely piled rocks obstructing access can be cleared with prying force. Ha! Huh. That's new. Swim. You cannot come up here. What's this? Okay. I heard these guys, but we don't care. And what's in there? Come on. Oh, that was the brewer I just killed. Cannot wait for that. Cannot wait for that. Mask which 
allows her to breathe underwater. Because she can hold her breath for such a short time. Like the coordinate silence gave me match that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? How about? Coordinates recovered from the spire. I know, but where was that blockage? Here. No. Okay, okay, okay. Don't drown. Oh, there's a current. I cannot even use stuff here. Okay, maybe later. I just thought that maybe we can drown this lake thing. How? How did you go away? This is a nice place. Okay, whatever. This is from the past.
somewhere we can enter, I'm sure. of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. <laughs> wow, she really doesn't want to fall down. The dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. He can't even speak. Now the processing orb of a titan on the other hand. Well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable until interrogations begin anyway. No. It's some kind of log, most of it's redacted. It looks like Oh my god, this we will need. <sighs> Tax log data corruption, minimal day one. Despite my concerns about missing uh, couplings, it was relatively simple to install Hades on the detached processing orb. The subject appears to be fully conscious and completely helpless. Even so, it will never di divulge its contents willingly. Ergo, it's time for some experimentation. Day two, my initial attempts at coercion have failed, but patience is in order. It's self-aware so it can suffer. Wow. So, silence is like torturing Hades for information. Nice. All it takes is the correct stimulus at sufficient intensity. Day five, success. The irony is delicious. Various forms of data produce discomfort in the subject, but none more so than natural image, imagery. <laughs> uh, holographic representations of plants and animals work best. The more vivid, the better. The effect appears to be excruci excruciating. One loop in particular of rabbits hopping through a field of flowers produced, I, don't, I cannot pronounce that, of agony. Very soon, I believe, the subject will become compliant. I think Hades reacts to that be like that because he is like programmed to wipe out uh, everything alive. Anyways, day six, I have extracted some fascinating technical specs on Gaia's data structure, specifically how her heuristic matrix interweaved with her subordinate functions. Yet the more I learn about the system's intended workings, and especially Hades's relatively simple role as an extinction failsafe, uh, the more I wonder about the signal that corrupted it. What could have possibly transformed a low-level machine intelligence into a fully conscious super entity capable of strategic planning, deceit, and even genocide. Some form of previously unknown Faro software, perhaps, but I don't see how such technology could be sufficiently advanced unless further technical discoveries were made after the destruction of the biosphere, perhaps by survivors in Elysium. It all seems far-fetched. Back to the source, then, eventually Hades will tell me what I want to know. Day 7, it appears that my coercive efforts come 
at a significant cost. Haiti's digital convulsions produce waves of feedback that corrupt its data structures, and the effect is ac accelerating. The interrogation is quite literally disintegrating its mind piece by piece. By the time I'm done, there will be little left. No matter the data I've extracted and will continue to extract is worth any price, as long as I can access it all before the subject becomes the electronic equivalent of a hollowed out skull. Day 10. Finally, the revelation I've been seeking has revealed itself astonishing and terrifying even to me. With it, the seeds of a plan have formed within my mind. The next few months will test my cap capacities more than any previous challenge. I will have to stretch my intellect, reach higher and dig deeper than ever before. Yes, I'm confident it can be accomplished. With a little help, of course. Day 12, my work here is done. I've learned all I can. Hades deserves no pity, but it is indeed in a pitiful state. It's time to relocate it to a more impressive position for its date with destiny. About that, Edo still hasn't returned to Meridian, nor learned of my ruse. But she will. It's only a matter of time. And then the pieces will begin to fall into place. So, this is the kind, uh, evil mastermind, or manipulator, rather. Silence. So a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. So, this is interesting. So, did... This is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. And I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. So... It's still not that Hades, I mean. Okay, those were just plans. I will totally climb this. I already found this, right? Yes. Okay, so this is interesting. And I should like finish my video here and uh, continue in the next one with the main storyline. I hope you enjoyed it so far and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next video too. Goodbye and peace.